Hello. In this video, we will show you how the inlet fuel filters of Denso common rail injectors are removed and replaced at Radat SPA. The filters are divided into two families, the micro holes filters and the edge filters, as shown in the table. Before starting the extraction procedure, we recommend washing the injector body in the ultrasonic tank 4021047. We remind you that it is very important to work in a clean and tidy environment. We start by preparing on the workbench the universal vice 4021615 also available in a wooden box under the reference number 4021580, inserting the most suitable adapter blocks for the injector body. For removing and replacing the Denso filters, Radat has developed the toolbox for 021735 As a first example, we will replace a micro holes filter 1210845. We tighten the injector body in the vise with the filter facing upwards. We take the bush 4021547 or 548 depending on the inlet, and we tighten it, we place the bush 4021549, tightening it until it too is in place. On the tap wrench 4021553, we fit the 4021522 tap. At this point, we proceed to thread the filter, inserting the tap in the guiding bush. It is important to thread it as straight as possible. During the operation, it is possible to lubricate the assembly through the openings in the bush. Pay extra attention not to break the tap during this operation. After the operation, blow the area with compressed air to remove any dirt. It is important to thread the filter as deep as possible to prevent it from tearing during extraction. After the threading is complete, we can remove the bush 4021549. Take the threaded pin 4021603 and screw it into the 4021551 nut as far as it can go. We screw the threaded pin into the filter as deep as possible. Then we unscrew the nut until it reaches the bush and with the help of a wrench we keep turning it until the filter has come out of its seat. The filter is now extracted. We take a new filter 1210845 1, from the box. We let the filter drop into its seat and once more tighten the bush 4021549. We take the strike pin 4021555 and we insert it in the bush. Then with a rubber hammer we push the new filter into position. At this point we can proceed to remove the harness from the injector body. The new filter 1210845 1, 
is now correctly in place. We will continue with another example, this time replacing an edge filter. In order to extract this filter, it is necessary to drill into it on a drill press with a 2.5 tip in the center of the filter, going at least 10 millimeters deep. After having drilled the hole, we proceed by locking the injector body in the vise, with the filter facing upwards. We take the bush 4021547 or 4021548, depending on the thread of the inlet, and we tighten it until it is fully on. We place the bush 4021549 on top of the other bush tightening it until it too is in place. On the tap wrench 4021640 we fit the 4021632 tap. At this point we proceed by threading the filter, inserting the tap in its guiding bush. It is important to thread as deep as possible. During the operation it is possible to lubricate the assembly through the openings in the bush. Pay extra attention not to break the tap during this operation. After the operation, blow the area with compressed air to remove any dirt. After the threading is completed, we can remove the bush 4021641. Take the threaded pin 4021634 and screw it into the 4021633 nut as far as it can go. We screw the threaded pin into the filter as deep as possible. Then we unscrew the nut manually until it reaches the bush and with the help of a wrench we keep turning it until the filter has come out of its seat. The filter is now extracted. In this picture we show the comparison between a used and a new Radat filter. After the filter has been extracted it must be measured in order to check if it is a 1-212-580 or a 1-212-952 edge filter. In this case, the filter measures 27 millimeters, corresponding to the 1-212-952 filter. If the dimension had been 30 millimeters, we should have used the 1-212 580 filter. We place the new filter 1212952 in its seat and we once again place the 4021549 one, bush. We take the 4 Zero two one five 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 pin and insert it in the bush. Then with a rubber hammer we push the new filter into position. The new filter one two one zero eight four five is now correctly positioned. <laughs>